So welcome back, y'all, to Sessions Rap Reviews by an extremely unqualified person, me, Arno. Today, we're going to be talking about Spillage Villages Spillagin. Try saying that real quick. And let me just say, I've been really excited for this album, like, no lie. And if you don't know who Spillage Village is, then you do. You just don't realize it yet. <laughs> it's a collective of all these great and incredible artists, um, all of them here listed. Please, thank you. Um, with like Earth Gang, Jin, all of them. I, I love Earth Gang. Earth Gang is, is an incredible artist that I found out about really early on when I started uh, listening to Strays with Rabies. Great album right here. Strays with Rabies. Editor, put it in, please. Uh, yeah. And Jid is one of my current top fives. Like, no question. He's one of the greatest artists in the game right now. And I'm so happy with what he's been doing. Um, the Never Story was an incredible album. DiCaprio 2, I still listen to it to this day. It was my album of the year whenever it came out. All his verses on the Revenge of the Dreamers 3 was inc incredible. So, yeah. Jid cannot... He does not miss. And his, his, his style is so unique. And so, whatever he's been doing is incredible. And Mariba... Mariba? Mariba? Mariba, right? Uh, Mariba and Black have always been two artists that I've been following, uh, not too closely, but just like from the side a little bit, you know, just 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 from the side a little bit, uh, and they got some really good shit too. Um, Mariba, I haven't really listened to her except from a couple of features that she's been in, and Black, I've listened to his last album and his last EP, uh, which were really good. They're pretty good. There, there's some good stuff on there, and I, and I really enjoyed those things. Um, yeah with that out of the way all their these great and incredible artists there's a couple of smaller artists in this collective but for the most part jid earth gang black and mariba those are the main people on this collective they have great discographies so there's no way that this spilligion album can be bad right i haven't really listened to to any of the spillage village their earlier albums or eps um the bears like this bears like this twos and bears like this too much i've listened to a little bit of bears like this too much and that's about it um there's only a few songs like here or there that i've listened to and yeah they're, they're pretty good and i really liked their chemistry and even everything that they did on the revenge 3 album on dreamville was incredible so i can't wait to talk about this project because it is spoiler alert it's a fucking great album like no question dude like let's just get into it let's get into it right now let's, let's just go and talk track by track about spill legend so yeah i'm skipping the intro because there's no really there's no reason to really talk about the intro because it's just like some skits about some church shit or whatever but yeah so straight into bad ties man kicking off with some good just, it's it's good it's really really good kicking it off so strong uh the song kicks off with johnny venus's great verse backed up with such a unique beat bro like damn the vocals in the back and everything it's just it's such a good beat and it's such a good start to a song to a fucking project nonetheless with a nasty nasty ass bass line in the back like and, and then we get this tempo shift like mid verse it's so good bro it's so good it's so good like we get into the chorus and man does venus always make a really good chorus venus is such a unique artist like damn and then and then we get jid in here we get jid with bars we get jid with bars no question with bars um he says right here um let me adjust my glasses real quick he says at the sax fifth with a religious sack to grab gifts how you get money and act if if <laughs> How you get money as if poverty's past tense. We see bad shit happen, but what happens to bad shit? You need to get your ass whipped. What, bro? <laughs> Come on, man. Jid never fails. He always has bars. He always has a unique style. He always has a unique flow. And I've always admired that about him. And then he follows that set of bars with Friendship Missionary Behula Hill Baptist Norfolk County doing peyotes from a cactus alabaster flows out in cali with some calabasas hose hella bad put your ass up on my nose what do you mean bro like great ass verse like if, if, if jid keeps this shit up keep up this rhythm of incredible features incredible albums whatever he's making i'm sure it's gonna be incredible 
all this stuff from his feature from the Amine album, his features with IDK on the serial single, his features on Big Black Truck, nonetheless, on the Revenge Deluxe Edition. Incredible. He's going to end up being one of the greatest artists in the game, I swear. And if he's not, shoot me in the head because you, you can't prove you, Come on, man. It's Jid. He's out here making moves. No question. And then we get into Dr. Dog. Thank God he changed his name because he he initially, he, he always used to be Dr. Dot, um, but then he changed it to Wow Great with an eight. And I mean, Dr. Dot is way better than that. Let's be honest. Like, it's no question. Like, <laughs> Wow Great is just, me and my homie saw that and we're like, what? Why did he do that? Like, there's no reason to do that. That's just such a bad name. But, yeah. Good thing he changed it back. But um, aside from that, great verse. Yeah, it's good. He, yeah, he had a great verse with a great ass flow, and it, it's it's good. It's good. The only part that was kind of iffy about the track was the outro with Aunt Clemens. Clemens, Clemens. Yeah, it it, it kind of drags on, and uh, this whole warpy part that you're trying to do, it's cool, fits the vibe with the album, but it just kind of drags on for a little, just a little bit too long. It, it, it's a vibe, but it just takes it takes a while for it to get to where it wants to go. Um, but yeah, the fire, the song, the song is fire, no question. Like it's it's great beat, great verses by everybody. Slightly long outro, but let's not even talk about that. That's not even something to complain about. It's five out of five, no question. Let's move on. Please, thank you, goodbye. Yeah, this the type. This is the type of church I'm trying to go to. You know, this is the type of church I'm trying to go to. Uh, the main theme of this album is obviously religion. Thus, the title of the album, Spilligent. You know. Uh, yeah, each song has to, to kind of deals with a couple of topics about spirituality, religion, and all this other stuff. And it's a great theme, and I really like it. They, they, they use this theme throughout the music, through the style, and man, it just sounds, it sounds so good. It sounds really good. Mainly led by Mariba's incredible voice, dude. Like, wow, it's, y'all gotta listen to her shit, because it sounds like heaven in your ears. And oh, wow, it just sounds for real. Especially... There's one song with her and Jid. Here it is. I don't remember it right now, but editor will remember it. But yeah, it's a it's a whole ass vibe. It's a whole ass vibe. Back to this song. Yeah, great verses by Mariba. Yeah, great verses by Mariba with the chorus saying uh, by Venus, Jid, and Benji. That's very catchy. I really like how it goes. And this whole church vibe is trying to go for this whole church choir chanting in the back. Yeah, great ass song. Just great ass song. I didn't like the skit at the end though. But whatever. It's the end. Doesn't really take anything out of the track. Once it gets there, I just skip it. Whatever. I don't get anything in that part. Great ass track anyway. It's five out of five. Jam for sure. No question. Let's move on. Continuing the themes of spirituality, the village now kind of focuses more on family and love and all that stuff. This track is is it's primarily led by Jid and yeah, it's just a nice, wholesome track. Uh, with a nice guitar beat in the back. The chorus is okay. Both of Jid's and Hollywood JB's verses are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good. They're pretty good, uh, I'd say. But I feel like Venus completely stole the show with his closing verse. He starts rapping, and then there's this slight kind of beat change. It's just kind of up-tempoed. But yeah, I really... Venus stole the show on this track. It's really, really good. There's not really much to say. It's a good track. Nothing too impressive other than Venus's closing verse, which it's just a nice, chill song. Uh, I really like the... Yeah, it's a nice, chill song. It's not bad. It's just it's just, it's just there, you know? Four or five, I guess I can give it. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, yeah, this one's it right here. This one's it right here. This is a slap right here. All about spreading love and positivity. This is a really, really good ass track, dude. Like, it's good. It's really good. I really enjoyed this song. I really enjoyed kicking this shit off with a great fucking chorus. Probably the best. Nah, it's not the best chorus. It's, it's, it's one of the best choruses on this album because this album has a lot of good choruses since it's more church choir focused religion focused spirituality focused so it has a lot of good ch- church choir type choruses and what a great beat man well we, with such great production and then we get verses by earth gang and let's just say they they they, they got some good bars they got some they got some good bars right here they got some good flows with such unique flows and and then we get jid back here 
Jid is back with the bars. He's back with the bars. He literally said, unlock your doors, open up your soul. You ain't got to be so Minnesota. They love me in Cologne, but I ain't talking about the older. What? Like, <laughs> Jid's wordplay is so unique and it, it's just impressive. He he takes whatever spot he's got on a track and just owns that shit. It's, it's so incredible. He's such an incredible artist. I can't, I can go for hours. I, I, I can go for hours talking about how incredible his music is. Honestly, if you guys haven't listened to DiCaprio, at least listen to his album. It's incredible. It's such an incredible album. Um, but yeah, he's he Jid is an incredible artist. But yeah, uh, uh, this is probably the last time I'll, I'll, I'll keep sucking fucking Jid's dick. But yeah, great fucking song, no question. Five out of five, great song. So I think we could all agree that this is this is the big this is the big chunky track of the project with such incredible production features verses and straight up vibes just vibe just vibes all around we got ari we got buddy we got chance we got masego in here so shit's about to get down like for real it's about to get nasty it's about to get nasty (laughs) it's it's gonna get good guys it's gonna get good starting off with some incredible vocals by ari buddy and masego in the intro and the bridge and then we get Jid in here with a verse, which I really liked. However, I feel a little bit offbeat. Me, I don't know. Maybe that's just me uh, or the beat because the verse is good. The verse is really good. But the rapid beats in the back uh, in the, of, of the beat, the rapid beats of the beat, they, uh, they kind of slightly felt sort of kind of off and it kind of throws off Jid's flow. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, something about the beat, it kind of just throws off sort of the flow, sort of Jid's flow in on this verse, because it's just so rapid and Jid's, I don't know, what is it me? What is it me? No, I'm just wrong. I don't know. Then we get this really interesting interpolation. If you don't know what that means, look it up yourself. I'm not going to fucking explain it to you. All right, so just just know. It took something from a song. I'm not going to explain it. Whatever. Uh, of what I thought was just Kanye's Gold Digger, but... After a little bit of digging, uh, the, the, the song serves as a tribute to Ray Charles, which is pretty cool. Right? It makes for a really good and interesting chorus. I thought that was a pretty interesting chorus. Kind of flipped around the sound and, and did, did some did some shit right there. So, eh, not bad. And then we get Chance in here. Before anything is said, I used to be a huge fan of Chance. Hell, he was the first artist I got to see live. So, yeah. I used to be huge chance. Loved Acid Rap. Loved 10 Day. Loved... I was okay with Coloring Book. And then uh, The Big Day came out. We all know that album was fucking terrible. But, as of late, he's been kind of disappointing, unfortunately. And his music is, uh, isn't um, how you say uh, good anymore. Uh, so, there's, there's that. But, man, there's the man with the cap clap back on this track like no question like fuck holy shit this is one of the best verses i've heard from him in years literally years it's been a while since i heard him rap this good in a very long time it's crazy it's fucking crazy like it's good ass song it it made it for a good ass song It, it, it was kind of a generic flow for a bit but whatever but i like his wordplay his wordplay is nice and quick and just like it's quick. It's nice and quick. But yeah. Sounds great. Five out of five for sure. Yeah. I know I said the thing about the Jid flow being off beat. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It still sounds fucking good. It's still a five out of five. Fight me. So I fuck with this song. Pretty heavy. It's a it's a nice vibey sort of love song type trap beat type beat. Um that I really enjoy. And with a great beat, it has a great beat, great chorus, great verses by pretty much everybody on here. <clears throat> Black makes his first appearance on the project with this song. And uh, yeah, it's a good fucking verse. He, he has a good verse. And then we get Dr. Dot in here. And his verse is pretty good too with good flow. And I really like that shit too. It's good. It's nice and good. And the only verse that was all right. It's not bad. It's all right. It's still all right. It was Jordan Bryant's verse. Because not only is it like super short, 
it just don't fit with the vibe and the flow of this track. This is supposed to be a nice, smooth, like vibey kind of love song. Like I'm feeling, it's like something. Just cuddle up with your boo and just like vibe out. Um, that said, the verse is good. It just doesn't fit with the track. But overall, the track is it's good. I give it like a four out of five. Like I said, the verse is good. It just did not fit the track because his voice is like kind of, it's kind of deep. It's kind of even then, deep voices can make good. Deep voices can make good love songs. Like it's just, but I don't know something about his voice on this track just kind of threw it off. But still good track, four to five. It's just nice, yeah. It's just nice. <clears throat> All right, so we done. We're done with that cute shit oh, that we got on Ocean. Like we're done. It's, it's, let's get nasty. Let's let's talk about fucking. Okay, I know this this song is pretty good. This song is pretty good. We're talking about fucking. It's not as good as the last song, but it's still good. It's still a good song. It has a great beat and bounce to it. I really like the. I really liked it. I really liked it. And man, the vocals in the back of this. Oh, it's incredible. Venus. He Venus. I'm all over the place. I'm fucking flustered right now. Venus busts in. He busts in. He doesn't hold back at all. This is a type of Venus that really made him unique to me. Honestly, I see this man as the next generation of Andre 3000. He has such an incredible and unique voice. He can sing. He can rap. He can fucking go off. He can sing a ballad if he wants to. He can just straight up give you the nasty shit. Like, and he gives you the nasty shit on this track. Like, no question. Like he he's an incredible artist. Um, honestly, watch his performance on Colors where he did um, Up. Earth Gang did a Colors performance on Up. You just see the fucking voice this man has. He's an incredible performer, and man, is he fucking ripped! Jesus Christ, he looks like a goddamn superhero. Then we get Sixes, Sixes, Six. No, it's black. It's fucking black. Okay. Then we get black. <laughs> then we get Black's verse. And it's good. Uh, but for some reason, it just kind of doesn't really fit this track. Because this track is like high energy. It's like, let's fucking get through this. And you know Black's voice. He's kind of laid back. He's a chill, laid back dude. So his slow voice uh, paired with this kind of more faster paced type song. It just kind of sounds off a little bit. It still sounds good, but it sounds a little, uh, it sounds a little off. It sounds a little off. Um, however, still good ass track. It was gonna be like a three point five, but fuck it, so I'll give it a four. Cause fuck Venus gives you that Coco nasty, straight up nasty bullshit up in here. So yeah, good track, four to five. Next. So this might be the chunkiest song on the project. It's probably the most verses on any song. But yeah, it's good. Uh, the production is great. The beat's good. The verses are good. Yeah, this song, it's, it's good. Uh, it's good at its best, and it's all right at its worst. Jid and Venus are definitely highlights on this track. However, everything else is just okay. The, the, the chorus is all right. Um, but you kind of you kinda hear it a bit too much. Because there's so many verses, and they don't use the chorus after every single verse but there's six there's like about six or five verses on, on here so they use it about like three times so and it's also a kind of long ass chorus so you hear it a lot man like come on like i don't really hear this fucking chorus over and over again that's it um that's that's jordan's and benji's verses are good but they're just okay I, yeah it's probably the most skippable song on the project because it, since it's so repetitive and that's a shame because the production on this track is great. Um, yeah, I have to give it like a three out of five just because it's just so repetitive. It's unnecessarily repetitive. Um, it still has great production, but a three is not bad. Okay, three is still good. Everything else has gone five and fours. So y'all start bitching at me. I'm going to square up with somebody. I don't lie. I'll do it. Okay. So this was... <clears throat> End of Days was the first single to have released. And man, have I listened to this song a bit too much. <laughs> like, it's a it's a great song. Great ass production. Pretty much great ass verses by everybody. And I was wrong before. This song is chunky, bro. Like, this song is uh, chunky. It's, yes, it's six minutes with six verses and choruses fucking everywhere and a long ass intro. However, it's good. 
it's like really good um dot's verse is probably his best on the projects like he opens up this track and has his best first on this entire project so big ups for you dot good job jid great as always mariba surprisingly amazing i forgot that she raps and when she raps she fucking she raps dog like it, it's so it, it was really good she stole the show uh, verse of the track for sure. She had, she had. It was a, such a nice surprise on this track. I'd say she had the best verse on the track, no question. After her, you get Jordan and JB's verses. They're good too. Um, it's probably their best on the whole, <laughs> the whole album. Because I don't know something about the song. Just all of them like coming here together. It just, it pretty much sums up to a really, really good track. It's like they're all. They put all of their energy on this track for sure. Especially since it was one of the singles. But yeah, this is their best work. However, it's still... Just because it's their best verse doesn't mean it's amazing. They're still all right verses. They're okay. They're fine. They're fine verses. And I don't mind them at all. They're, they're, they're okay. But yeah, this is their best... All of the mediocre artists on this project, this is their best work. And even then, it's still the best of the mediocre. Just so you know. Take that to note. Don't get mad. Still a good song. After that, we get Venus's kind of this bittersweet type verse, outro type thing. I don't know. Um, however, the in- instrumental break that leads into his verse takes a little bit, a little bit too long. Like it just goes on. And plus his verse kind of drags for a bit. It makes sense, the kind of vibe they're going for, but quicker you know let's get there let's get there a little bit quicker come on like, I, I, I got things to do come on let's get there quicker please please it's still it's it's not a bad track i gave it a four out of five like honestly it's like it's a really it's a really 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 good song there's nothing too like groundbreaking about it it's just really good like it's good uh, aside from mariba's verse her verse is fucking amazing it's great it's cool next uh this track is kind of hard for me to talk about because i don't know if i like it honestly uh production is amazing and definitely gives off that gospel vibe especially with the chorus and and all that stuff but um the verses are very okay they're, they're very okay and kind of leave a little bit to be desired uh mariba's ver- and venus's verses venus's venus's verses yeah venus's verses <laughs> In the first half, they're okay. They're all okay. Um, Rebo's verse sounds a bit off beat, and I guess it kind of it's kind of hard to stay on beat when it's kind of like a jazzy church gospel choir. And Venus's verse sounds just a little a tiny bit too off. Like uh, Rebo's verse is kind of off beat, but this Venus's verse just kind of sounds a bit off beat for some reason. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to go with with the vibe. I, I, I don't know. I know what they're trying to go for. I know that they're trying to go for this gospel thing. And the the, the premise of the track, however, it doesn't... I know what they were going for. They had a goal. They were going for it. it they just they didn't quite get there. You know, it didn't learn... It didn't quite know how to walk yet. You know? Benji, however... Benji. It's a whole different story. Because this is probably their best verse on this project. Benji comes in... With straight ass fire, dude. He had his best verse here with such an incredible flow, and just it's just it was just a quick, quick fucking. He, he just goes rapid fire in there, just fucking starts with the fucking Uzi. He was he was going in, he was going in, no question. I I, I like to like the slow sort of intensifying build up and on the tempo and stuff. His verse is great. Uh, the other verses were, eh, uh, unfortunately, but um. Benji's verse was definitely a highlight. Uh, so, yeah. Unfortunately, Benji had to carry his track. Everything else was kind of okay. I have to give it like a 3 out of 5. Almost a 2. But Benji carried this fucking verse on his back. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't have fucking back pain at the hospital. Because he had fucking hard ass carry here. But, yeah. Great, 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 great verse, Benji. Great verse, I have to tell you. I never heard of him before. And all his other verses on on the project were kind of eh, okay, they're okay, eh, they're okay, but but this 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 track for sure was impressive. This his verse right here was impressive. All right, man, let's real talk. 
Jupiter has to be Jupiter has to be like the most incredible fucking outro of the year, dude. Like, wow. Like at first I was like, all right, come on, whatever. This is kind of shitty. Sounds like some shit. Campfire song you you sing at the last day of church camp or whatever. And then that first verse hits, like, wow, dude. It was you feel goosebumps dude you feel goosebumps for sure what it's such an incredible beat with heavenly vocals heavenly vocals are so good gives you goosebumps i kind of want to go back to church camp just for that jesus christ like oh i really don't have much to say just like all i have to say is wow and it just sounds incredible it's it's not that long of a song uh it's pretty short but man, listen, you guys, if you don't want to, you don't care about anything else, just listen to the, the this track. It starts off like kind of eh, but when it gets to that first verse, when it gets to that drop, ooh, ooh, I got goosebumps. I get go, oh, it's, it's giving me goosebumps again. Oh my God, dude. Like, holy crap. Incredible beat, incredible song. Five out of five, no question. Shout out to Jupiter. Fun fact, they named the song Jupiter because the producer was named, his name was Jupiter. Man, does he fucking deserve it? He deserves it. Give this man flowers. Editor, add flowers right here. Give him his flowers. Boom. Incredible. Incredible, dude. Thoughts. This is an incredible project, y'all. Like, aside from uh, some all right parts here and there, this shit was fire, dude. Like, there's some really good parts. There's like, what? One, one, three, two, two threes? Two songs with threes? Two songs with threes out of the fucking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two out of ten songs were threes. The rest were fours and fives. Like, come on, what is? What are we talking about? What is? What, what, what are we talking about? What are we? Like, I can't, I can't stop listening to this project. It's so good. It's really good. This is such an incredible work of art of so many talented and unique artists with their own unique sounds, and it's just. Oh, it, it, it gave me a lot of Revenge of the Dreamers vibes, having all these incredible artists work together, having all these all this talents and this one project is incredible. More people need to do collaborative albums like this because, man, does it make for some of the greatest music in the industry right now, no question. Like, holy fuck. Great production, great style, great verses, and a vibe the whole time. I cannot recommend you listen to this Please listen to his greatest album. I have to give it a 9 out of 10 for sure, dude. For sure. I have to give this a 9 out of 10. It was such a great album. Such a great album. This, it was a good one, Coach. Like, I can't I can't recommend this album enough, man. Like, wow. It was great. It was so good. That said, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week. And stay safe. And I'll see you next time. I love you. Goodbye.